2022 Kia Carnival SX Prestige. But before we get started with anything, there is something I have to say. Whoever designed that new Kia logo, they definitely deserve a raise. <laughs> that logo is such a step in the right direction. I really do appreciate that. Also, whoever came up with the name Carnival, they should also get a raise. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and say it. I think this is the best looking minivan to currently be sold in the United States. And why do I think that? Because they are the only ones, Kia is the only one to adopt this boxy looking style, okay? And because of that, people have been breaking their necks to look at this thing. It could be this azure blue paint job, right? It could be the 19 inch black wheels, but whatever it is, people are so attracted to this thing. I really like the little character line going across the vehicle here and it kind of blends in with that railing system for the rear door that's a nice touch and other things to note on the seat pillar you got that little aluminum looking design that's really cool the whole front fascia of this vehicle it's kind of lifted from the kia sorento and because of that that whole front end is actually designed for aerodynamic purposes okay to get the best fuel economy possible which is 19 city 26 highway uh, on regular fuel also the side view mirrors are also designed for fuel economy purposes something to keep in mind but you let me know in the comment section how you like the way that this vehicle look do you agree that uh this is one of the better looking minivans to come out it's certainly got some swagger so i do like that i think the rear end is probably my most favorite angle of this minivan due to that boxy rectangular shape of it but anyway let's go ahead and let's transition over into this drive as i attempt to merge onto this highway here you got yourself a proper engine okay three and a half liter v6 that you get in the telluride uh, in this application you get 290 horsepower and about 262 pounds feet of torque but the biggest highlight for me with this vehicle has got to be the handling i mean the engine is great okay to zero to 60 in about seven seconds it actually sounds good because it's a v6 and in this era where you know everything is going turbocharged hybrid electric all this other nonsense i definitely encourage you to enjoy a proper motor like this while you still can the handling is what really blew me away with this thing as you see it here okay fully loaded sx prestige trim this weighs like 4700 pounds but this i shit you not this handles like half of its weight that's what this thing feels like this is built on the n3 platform okay the third generation n3 platform which the all-new sorento and the kia k5 sits upon and i've driven both of those vehicles the k5 and the sorento and i'm really impressed with driving those cars uh, they are very quiet and comfortable vehicles but this one due to its size and weight okay this is about 203 inches long and to give you some context that's about the same size as like a mercedes s-class bmw 7 series one of those flagship type vehicles right so it's a very long vehicle it's very heavy yet it feels so neutral the way it kind of pivots around turns it really does feel like half of its size and i think that's the most impressive thing about driving this kia it's just surprisingly nimble get yourself a eight speed automatic transmission with kia hyundai genesis they always nail it with this eight speed transmission it's smooth it shifts extremely well when you have it either in the sport mode or normal mode and you take the traction control and the stability control off then it'll react a little bit better in my opinion uh, sport mode is also great if you just want to do some aggressive driving but i don't really recommend driving around in that mode other things that they really worked on with these kind of newer n3 platform vehicles is the sound deadening and the quietness of it and they definitely nailed it in that department as well this is a pretty damn quiet vehicle considering all the glass that's being used in this car the wind noise, tire noise, all those things, they're actually well contained. 
the ride quality is also pretty smooth. I do notice typically in most minivans when you uh, sit in the back seats, they don't ride as well as it does in the front seats. However, this isn't bad. I had my parents in here and they didn't mind sitting in this. They thought it was a comfortable and quiet experience. Brakes also ensure confidence in the driving of this car. The high speed stability is good. Obviously it weighs a lot, so definitely fuels pinned down and planted, that's for sure. But again, that's not really it. This feels like a lightweight car to drive. When I read the specs, I couldn't believe how much it weighed. But anyway, you got yourself a McPherson front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension, which is typical for minivans and vehicles of this type. If you want with a lesser trim level, you could get 17 inch wheels and I'm sure that would ride really damn smooth. So if you're looking for maximum comfort, well, there you go. But these 19s aren't bad. And I'll say this for once, I don't usually say this, but I think that buying this vehicle fully loaded is the way to go. Actually, I think it just adds to the character and the, um, and the ambiance of the carnival and what it's trying to achieve with all these options, right? And all these luxuries. I said the same thing about the Telluride as well. Those, These two cars in Kia's lineup, I think they're best had fully loaded. Now I get it. It's a lot of money, okay, especially over the base price. These things start at around $32,000. And as you'd see it equipped here with Destination and Fright, it's like $47,000. So I get it. This is not cheap. But I'm happy to report that vehicles like the Telluride and this Carnival, they exude and drive like... 50k kind of luxury cars if you will so i think from a driving perspective almost everyone is going to love driving this thing and please take it for a test drive you let me know in the comment section how you like driving these vehicles but before i jump into that interior segment let me just go ahead and let me talk about a few other things like these uh, trim levels like i mentioned i do like this car fully loaded the way it is. However, if you want a more pragmatic choice, you know, if you want to get a few niceties while saving some coin, uh, the EX trim might be a good good model to go with. You'll get the uh, the tailgate that opens automatically or electronically, if you will. You'll also get the, uh, the fake leather seats. This uh, fully loaded SX Prestige trim has the real leather seats, but I think pleather will, will do just fine as well. But another way to look at it is if you just want to get the base model version of this vehicle, one of the best ways to take advantage of the base model is if you want to use this carnival for work purposes. You know, I like how Kia touted on their uh, press website. You know, this is also good for work, play, adventure, carrying around plywood. A lot of people do genuinely use minivans for work purposes, like in construction. You can actually remove the uh, the second row seats in like the lesser models, like the LX, right? And trims like the LX are where you can actually fit up to eight people in the carnival, or else it's about seven people as you see here. But yeah, anyway, you can take out the second row seats, you can stow away the third row seats, and you have a flat area to work with, and you just roll out a blanket or something, and uh, there you go, you got yourself a little work vehicle. And the reason why I suggest maybe using this is because, well, Kia offers a decade-long warranty, right? 10-year warranty, 100,000 miles. So you're covered for a long period of time. You can typically finance the, uh, the, the base model versions because it's the cheapest and it'll be the most affordable on a monthly payment basis. And you can use it for work use. So that's one interesting way to take advantage of the Kia Carnival. But no, really, the where this thing shines is the way it is here you know outfitted with every option every luxury feature and let's go ahead and let's cover that now all right well let's get started with the interior shall we and would you just look at this specification look at these seats well done if i don't say so myself and again that glorious little kia logo right got your little door panel right here with the bose audio system let's go ahead get inside And of course, this is the SX Prestige trim, like I already mentioned multiple times. So this is the fully loaded version of this vehicle. So what you end up getting here is two 12.3 inch screens. So 
what I like about this screen is this is the more traditional kind of Kia screen that I really enjoy. So this is really easy to use, quick to respond, no real issues there, right? And even though there's a lot of technology in here, a lot of features, they actually made this really easy to, to use and digest, if you will. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, even on the base LX trim, however, you're gonna end up getting a eight inch screen and not this 12.3 inch screen, which is fine. I don't, I don't care about that. The eight inch screen is more than enough. However, uh, this one, the, the clarity is good. The response is great. And I'm sure the eight inch is fine, but this just does look very proper. Uh, as with the 12.3 inch gauge cluster screen, this also looks really great kind of a change the little drive modes here. Sport, smart, really smart is my most favorite mode to use. I will say I don't really like how this drive mode button feels. Uh, it's like kind of clicky, but you know, I see what they're trying to do here, but it kind of just feels like a sticky button, if you will. So that's kind of weird. But anyway, it's a small little gripe. Everything works perfectly fine in here. So it's not really an issue. But Fuel economy is definitely decent, okay? Even with really hard driving, I'm getting like 16, 17 MPG, so not bad. When I drive it more mellow, I do get into the 20 MPG range, so what Kia quotes is pretty accurate. I do like the buttons in here. They feel great. And you got one touch up and down windows for all four windows. And these are actually double pane glass here in the front. So something to keep in mind, all of these little touches that they made do help to quiet the vehicle down. So nice, luxurious touch right there. You have buttons here to access the, the doors electronically and, and you actually get that as standard. So even on the key fob, you actually have buttons to close the doors, right, uh, electronically and you get all this stuff as standard. So that's great to see. And if you suck at driving, well, Kia certainly has you covered with 12 standard safety features. You heard that right. So, and that includes things like blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist, right? All these like typical features that you find in cars today. Well, you get 12 of them as standard. And really the only other extra features that you get here on like the SX Prestige trim is the surround view, like the 360 view, uh, backup cameras, which is clear legible you got your little lines right there right and when you put the the signal on you have a camera system an extra little display right here so you can uh, kind of cover your blind spots you got memory seats automatic headlights leather wrapped steering wheel right here and and one thing to note about the track selection for music in this vehicle Apparently down is the next track. I don't know why they did it backwards like that. Like up should be the next track, but whatever. It is what it is. You also get things like heated and cooled seats for uh, actually the two seats up front as well as the captain's chairs in the rear. You also get a heated steering wheel with this fully loaded trim. I like how the climate control, it's actually totally separated from the screen. However, they didn't give you buttons. They actually gave you like these touch haptic things. So. Again, not too bad, it's easy to use and you can control the rear climate control from here as well. Uh, but we should turn that off for right now. My only real gripe that I have with this interior is this excessive use of this piano plastic right here, this black plastic. Uh, they always do this. I don't know why they don't just use like an aluminum plastic, kind of like what you see here, uh, but they kind of just slather this all over the place. And I will say one thing about this though, it doesn't really, attract fingerprints that much. It's kind of smudge resistant, right? However, it still displays your dandruff and your dust particles extremely well. So it's still got that going on and it will still scratch. So something to keep in mind there. Traditional gear lever knob, and you do have a manual mode here as well. And that's pretty good. It actually reacts really well with the, uh, the, with the manual mode. So I do like that as well. You do get a wireless charging pad right here, USB ports. Some people may or may not like this trim here. I personally like it. I think it's cool. I think it's different from the typical kind of wood trimmings and all that that you find in a lot of cars today, but I can see why some people might not like it. it does seem a little plasticky, but I like it. And you got some 
decent amount of space in the glove box. I think vehicles like the Pacifica offer the most amount of kind of cubby spaces, if you will, things like the Odyssey, but I don't really care about that. A lot of that is kind of excessive and unnecessary. As long as you have places to store your phone, two drinks, things like that, I'm fine. Uh, the, the door pocket space could have been a little bit bigger, but as a whole, not too bad. This incredible Bose audio system, this is actually only available on the fully loaded trim. It sounds incredible. It, it sounds a lot better than the previous Harman Kardon sound systems, but again, it's only available on the fully loaded trims. I wish it was at least available as an option on something like the EX or the SX trims. But the way you see this vehicle here, this is one of the reasons why I would spec this car fully loaded like it is. It just, it matches the character of this minivan here you know it's just something that you carry a lot of friends with and you enjoy all the luxuries of that this car has to offer and speaking of luxuries let's go ahead and let's step into the back seat and i'll talk to you about some of the screens that you have to play with one other touch that they could have brought with this car is kind of bring the door handles together like a rolls so that would have been kind of cool but anyway you actually have a couple of ways to uh to open this door here you can actually just press that button just pull on the the handle there but the button is a nice touch kind of reminds me of a rolls but anyway let's go ahead and let's uh take a little seat back here but before i do i'll kind of show you, you got the same type of leather seats here and like i mentioned this is the real leather seats because it's a fully loaded trim because it's a minivan it's easy to get in and out of press this button here automatically closes We are inside the, the rear of the Carnival and I have plenty of space to sit behind myself and that's because while well, I have the seat currently in its furthest position, I think, yeah, I do. So you can kind of bring it up a little bit to a more appropriate you know, place because, well, you have to give some space to the rear occupants, right? Or maybe not. But the thing that probably caught your attention is this screen back here. Got your little Netflix, your... Uh, your YouTubes, your Twitch, the sounds of nature, right? You have all these things that you can play with. You can read the, the news as long as you are connected to the internet and you have a kids mode as well. So again, a high quality display back here. And uh, I think a, a lot of people can have fun back here whilst riding in the back. So there's a little look right there at the front and uh, yeah, you have your little climate control right here, but it's only available on this side of the vehicle, not, not over here. I think this is like a camera system or something to, to spy on the, uh, the back passengers. But you also have an intercom system, which I think is available with the EX trim. I think that's where you get uh, the intercom system where you can yell at the people in the back. So there you go. And what's bespoke to the SX trim, the, the SX prestige trim, I should say, is the the dual sunroof so there you have it dual sunroofs right another thing bespoke to the sx prestige trim is like the uh, the dual headlight system as well and you got yourself a little house kind of port right here right electric port two cup holders the same piano black plastic got some storage right here Heated and cooled seats for both of these seats here. And you even have a sun blocker, very convenient feature. I always love it when cars include this. And here I'll display some of the ottoman functions here. It's not very comfortable though, that's the thing. Kind of just digs into my calves and uh, it's not that comfortable. That's just one of the things I've noticed with this feature. You can also electronically recline these seats as well. So you just kind of digs in. It's just not really necessary, but anyway. Recline the seats. This does something. I'm not really sure what, but there you have it. You can uh, annoy this passenger right here. It's a trait of a luxury vehicle. You also have two USB ports right here to charge your phone. And the most uh, convenient feature anyway about a minivan is kind of this center right here right you got this but also you can kind of just walk back there into the third row seat all right and i am five foot eleven and i can sit in all three rows with my seat setting so not too bad however i will say anybody over six feet tall can't really sit back here uh you'll start to 
rub your head up against the uh, the ceiling here but you got some cup holders some usb ports to play with and the seats are still relatively comfortable back here got a small little <laughs> sun blocker right here to play with but anyway that's We'll look at the interior not too shabby let's go ahead and let's look at the trunk and end this review off all right so a couple of ways to open the trunk you can do it from the key fob you can just press the button like i just did there or you can just stand next to the vehicle and it'll start beeping at you but there you go that's a look at the trunk so a lot of space in here i really like how it kind of dips down i mean all the uh all the minivans are kind of like this are super practical i mean this is far more practical than a SUV for sure. I mean, look how easy it is for passengers to get in and out of the amount of storage space. And also another thing to keep in mind, well, you have some storage right here as well, but mo most importantly, let me I just remove these things out of here. You can stow away the third row just by doing this. There you go. Try to do it one handed for you. And you kind of Pull here, do the same thing, it'll come down, and you have a very large space here to work with. And it is relatively flat as well. Like I mentioned, if you go with the, the lesser trim levels, like the LX, where you get the, uh, the bench seats, you can actually remove them, where you'll get full access to all the space in the minivan. So that's what I'm saying. If you wanted to use it for uh, work purposes, you could get away with the uh, the base trim levels but as you see here i mean this is more than enough space for anybody and if you want to bring the seats back up you just yank on this and pull on this little tab right here it does take some persuading there you go locks in place and there you have it that's a look at the trunk space let's go ahead and let's talk about the conclusions now and that's a look at the 2022 kia carnival sx prestige trim so highlights for me is definitely the handling dynamics i love the v6 engine i like the tech the gadgets i like how it's not overwhelming to use i like how everything is simple ergonomic and the pricing is pretty good too. It undercuts the competition on almost every single trim level. This is like a grand or two cheaper than the other competitors, right? Uh, that are fully loaded. And in my opinion, I think it looks very good. It's very attractive, both from the outside and the inside as well. This color combination is great. And really, I don't have too many cons with this. I definitely didn't really find any issues driving it. I thought it was comfortable, smooth, one important thing I forgot to mention during the drive is the fact that this Kia Carnival only comes in front wheel drive. Honestly, this would be a game changer if it came with all wheel drive. The thing though is the Sienna, even though it does come with all wheel drive, it's like a CVT hybrid now, you know? This is a proper V6 and the Sorento, even the K5 that the underpinnings are shared with, come with all-wheel drive but this carnival doesn't so that could have been a huge opportunity for them people up north would have really loved to buy this uh, minivan with all-wheel drive however i get it it is front-wheel drive you could just put snow tires on it and you could just about tackle any inclement weather that would come your way however i'm just saying the all-wheel drive would have given customers that extra bit of confidence the only real complaints i have is this excessive use of piano black plastic um, like I mentioned in the interior segment, it doesn't smudge really, it doesn't really collect too many fingerprints. However, it does still get dirty and scratched up. And I kind of wish the ottoman function in the rear was a little bit more comfortable as well. And the Bose audio system, it's an excellent system. I wish it was kind of available in the lesser trims, at least as an option. So those are really my only main gripes. Other than that, I think almost anybody who's going to be looking into purchasing or leasing this is really going to enjoy driving this carrying around friends their children whatever um they're really going to enjoy this so let me know in the comment section what you think about the 2022 kia carnival but thanks again for watching take care and goodbye